We're going to connect to our PLC and go find it out on Ethernet. Click OK. Oh man, that's just dirty. So you go to connect to your PLC and you're prompted with this password screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clear the program in your PLC. Now notice I said clear the program in your PLC. So that is going to wipe out whatever you have in there. We're not bypassing any passwords. Don't talk about bypassing passwords down in the comments because that will get you blocked. And no, I won't show you how to install a password because 98% of you that want to install one are crappy programmers. And I can't wait to hear the comments about that. I'm going to cancel out of this and then we're going to create a new program and we're going to go to controllers micro 820 and I have the one that ends in a QBB. I'm going to select it, add to project and then I'm going to right click it, update firmware and reset and then I'm going to hit the reset button. And notice here they're saying failure to maintain communications may render the device inoperable. It really means that. Don't be sitting there checking your email. Don't be watching YouTube. Although if you are, I hope you're watching this channel and you've hit that subscribe button. And now it says reset successful. Now when we go back to connect at this point, we're going to get connection failed. And we're going to go ahead and hit the retry button because that's going to bring up the connection browser. And we go here, we watch 14, we're going to get a red Xbox. And that's because it completely reset it to an out-of-box condition. And so I created this playlist right here to get you started in Connected Components Workbench.